Today I'm going to show you how to convert everyone into a sale. That's coming up. Hey Rockstars, welcome back. This is Owen at thevideospot.net and today I'm going to be covering marketing funnels. And I'm going to be covering marketing funnels from a really high level place. So just know that what I'm covering today gives you a like a whole type of view on what is happening in the internet marketing industry. Now, if you're a smaller business, if you're like a cert, like a magician, I've had a couple magicians on my page, right? If you're a magician or you're somewhat like a speaker for hire, this may not apply to you. You may want like a simple funnel, but by the end of this video, you should understand how a marketing funnel is built and you should be able to build one more or less on, on your own, okay? But let's take a look at how, how a marketing funnel kind of you know works from the very, very beginning and how to utilize today's marketing technology to, to capture everybody so that everyone becomes a sale. Okay, so first off, it starts with your cold, your cold leads. All right, these are people that have come from a Facebook user group or, or like an interest group from your Facebook ads or your YouTube ads, or maybe they're like, it's a lookalike list, right? And you're marketing to them through a series of social media ads, okay? So this is like Facebook or YouTube. And these are all these people and then they're seeing your ads and they're going here to a content-based web page. They're not going to a landing page. Now you can do that. You can send them directly to a landing page, but here's, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna send them to a content-based page like an article or a blog or something that, that generally enlightens and lifts up their life. Teaches them something new, we don't make any sales. But here's what we do. On this page, we pixel them. Okay, and it's called pixeling. Essentially, we have a cookie that marks their browser and now we can follow them around the web on Facebook with um, display ads on PPC with, with content we know they're interested in. So if this is a page on phishing, then we know that they're interested in phishing and we can target them through our phishing ads. We're gonna put an ad right here too in this content-based page, right? And they can click on that ad and go to our landing page. But if they don't, let's say that they read the blog and then go back to Facebook today, tomorrow, next week, we're gonna target them with another ad that is exactly this ad right here. It talks about, let's just say, phishing. So let's say that they're on Facebook the next day, they read your blog and they're thinking, they see your ad and they're like, oh, I, I really liked their blog. Let's see what this free phishing offer is or $10, $10 uh, you know, bait hooks things. That's when they go to your landing page and they go to your landing page as a warm lead. So we're not sending cold leads to the landing page, we're sending warm leads to the landing page through a retargeting ad that began with the pixeling. On your landing page, you're going to make an offer, they're either going to say yes or they're going to say no. If they say no, we still have them pixeled and we can continue to make different offers to them on Facebook, right? We could even do it, uh, we could target them with a discount, right? Let's say that we were offering a $10, you know, uh, fishing hook or something like that or a bait thing. <laughs> and I don't fish. Um, now, what if we did it now, the next week we say, hey, $5 off, or sorry we didn't earn your business, right? We're building a relationship with them. So the no's, we're still able to market and target the no's. If they say yes, here's what we're gonna do. If they buy your $10 product here, let's say this is a $10 product, they're gonna go to a thank you page. And on that thank you page, we're gonna make an enhanced offer. Let's say that we're gonna offer them something now for 50 bucks, right? And this $10 item, guys, this could be a $99 item. And then over here at the, you know, where it's higher price, let's say it's a $200, $300 item, it doesn't matter, right? Low cost offer to bring them in, and then we get them on the tripwire. 
okay? Where they say yes once and we get them, get them to say yes again. So let's say that they're downloading or buying your book. What if now they buy the Cliff Notes version to the book or, or something to that effect? Now, here's the thing. If once they're on the tripwire, they're gonna say yes or they're gonna say no. If they say yes, they continue up to a final thank you page, right? And we're able to continue to market them to them through our email marketing program and through our retargeting program because this page is also pixeled, okay? You don't have to understand pixeling right now, but know that we're tagging each page. So every time a viewer comes to a different page, we know that they've gone to a different point in our funnel and can receive different ads. Plus, now we're not showing our ads to everybody. We're just showing our ads to people who have already expressed interest. This is how, it, this is how you do it. Okay, now let's go back to this tripwire page. Let's say that they say no to the tripwire. Well, guess what? We still have them pixeled and we're still able to target them through an email marketing campaign because they already said yes to the original offer. So now they said no to the upgrade, we can still hit them in our email marketing campaign, but we can also still hit them on Facebook to our retargeting campaign. And you see how the, the cyclical nature of all this mess that's happening, that's the tripwire, right? We get them to say yes to a low end product and then we bring them up. Now this is not, this is not child's play. This is something that's a little bit more difficult to put together. Let me show you a real simple version. If you're, if you're um, you know, kind of a smaller business, here's what you want. You wanna have an ad. That ad leads to a landing page. On that landing page, they say yes, they say no. They say no, they drop off. They say yes, they go to an enhanced landing page where they're, you know, you're plus wanting them. You're getting them to go up one more step and then at that point, uh, they're, at the, they're at the thank you page. So forget all the pixeling, forget all the retargeting. You know, we, we would do it for you if you wanted, but that's a real simple funnel. That's it. You walk them through the funnel and then in the end, as always, as always, 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 you've got them in an email marketing campaign where they can continue to um, you know, be a part of, of your system. Now I'm gonna be talking more about pixeling and retargeting and why that's so important. But for now, um, I, I want you to know that I have a swipe file of all my best um, landing page templates and web page templates and all that different stuff that we've used that has been shown to convert. If you would like to download that for free, it's it, there's a link in my description box. You can go to the page, you can download it, you can check out that, use it in all your web designs and have a great time with it. You know, I've, it's like, why am I hanging on to this stuff? Check it out, use it, go, steal it. Uh, make your web page better and make it convert. If it's your first time here, would love it if you subscribed and stayed a part of the channel. We talk about web design and SEO. We talk about some other things as well that relate to internet marketing. We come at you two times a week. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and we'll talk to you soon.